What's up YouTube fans? Today we're going to be unboxing the Fans Toys Viper or their version of a Masterpiece Scale Firefly. So this is the fourth in the series of aerial bots that we've been getting from Fans Toys. It has been a long time coming uh, to get this set finished but it looks like it's going to be finishing this year actually in a month or two. So that's kind of exciting. But here is the box art we got from IOLab Studio with both robot and Jet mode, that looks really nice. It does say Fan Series 2024. Nothing on that side. On this side, we've got product images. Now, it shows blue here on the hip skirts, but the figure itself is missing that. So, they're actually sending that part separately. A little strange if you ask me that <laughs> they couldn't just figure out how to get into here, you know, given all the time it's taken. But on the body, we've got a nice teaser image of Superion here. So no secret there, they've already shown us the combined mode images. If you haven't been following me on Facebook, um, I just kind of reposted that so people could see what it looked like. But there's the whole team. We're beginning the last one here with the orange face Jester in a couple months here. So let's get this open. All right, so here it is, ready to open. And make sure you have the smaller side on the top. I'm gonna open it vertically just so you can see what it looks like. Here is the instruction of the collector's card. Fans always learned a while back, <laughs> at least one of my recommendations has always been, just put it in a Ziploc bag so we can put it back. Collector's card, that same image is on the box, and then the product images and his tech specs, and the bio. It does have a bio about Superion or Ethereon as they call him. So you can read that if you like. Here's the instruction book. Same image there and then the jet mode in, it's kind of a CAD render here. There's the accessories and then here's transformation. It's interesting they do it like just the arm on its own. And this jet mode looks beautiful. I love the way this looks, but it looks like you can mount the guns on the bottom. I don't see anything about the flight stands. So I guess when once we get the final flight stand, which is going to be a big piece for the combiner parts, you'll be able to display all these jets on that combiner stand, which turns into his, his body, essentially. Right, let's get this out of here. Let's take a look. And here it is, he's missing his face right away. Uh, but let's take a look at the accessories. We've got his gun, and a nice gun metal. And the kind of attached together, that's pretty cool looking. You've got his extra face here, kind of a yelling or a concerned face. That looks nice. Matte paint with blue eyes, and we've got a figure. So let's take this out. So first impressions, uh, there's quite a bit you need to do. <laughs> Looks like uh, there's the. Oh, first, let's take that plastic off the back, and his face was just sitting at the bottom of the box there. So we do want to set that back on. There's two little pegs on the back of the face. Let's see if that pegs in. And I know Paik mentioned that the face falls off very easily. All right, mine is okay. Let's see. Yeah, that one seems to stay on. So I don't know, maybe it's the results will vary. It is a little loose, but it seems to stay on okay. Let's get all this off. And they use that same kind of like waxy paper that we've seen in the past protect these parts. So it looks like we can fold it out like this and then we can open up this and remove that. And then we got to fix this knee. Somebody mentioned in a previous review one of the reasons they really like watching the reviews is I mention all the things you need to do to get it ready out of box. Even though I do that in the unboxing, I still do that in the review because you can do everything, you get everything you need 
in one video. And that's kind of the goal, right? Is to make sure, mention everything. Let's get these off. We'll set those aside. We can fold this back down. And now we'll say first impressions now that we have a face. I really like how he looks. And I will mention I changed out my background here, the gray background, since he's a white figure. But it's not quite white, it's like a pearlescent white. You know, a little bit off white, not quite white. And then the red is kind of a shiny red, more than a flat red. It's got a little bit of metallic into it. So it's not a flat red. It does have all this stuff on the chest. Somebody asked me, like, why does he have this weird symbol? Well, that's because the G1 cartoon had it. During my review, I'll bring it up so you can see that, you know. So if that's your thing, then you'll be happy to see that. Backpack is really nice and clean. Looks like it's attached out of box. You don't have to do too much there. Uh, arms feel good. Although this could use a ratchet, but yeah, everything feels good, nice and solid, nice tight paint, or nice tight joints. Paint looks good. Yeah, so I'm excited for this guy. Now here's the part we saw, they're missing the blue piece that's supposed to go underneath here. So I'm imagining they're going to send you, yeah, it looks like this is just going to pop out. So they're probably going to send you the blue insert that goes in here. You know, it's going to be relatively simple to insert that, is, is my guess anyway. Let's see. How easy does this pop? Yeah, it pops out really easy. So it looks like assembly error. They're just going to give you that piece. You're going to stick it in here and then put this back on. So that shouldn't be too big of a deal. Although it is a pain that you now you have to get that from your retailer. All right, well, we'll get this guy checked out. Stay tuned for the review, and we'll see you then.